Hello everyone. Before we start the video, I'd like to emphasize that everything I say in this video is just my thoughts, and I may be wrong about some things. If you notice any inaccuracies, please let me know in the comments. In the world of computer technology, the emergence of Apple Silicon has become a true revolution, offering unprecedented performance and energy efficiency. However, for many Mac users, a significant limitation remains the inability to play a wide range of games available on traditional platforms. The Asahi Linux project, named after the Japanese word Asahi, meaning rising sun, emerged as a potential solution to this problem, promising to bring a full Linux ecosystem to Apple Silicon devices. Today, we'll examine in detail how ready this project is to become a real gaming platform for Mac owners. The development of Asahi Linux began almost immediately after the announcement of the first M1 Macs, and the project has achieved impressive results since then. A team of enthusiasts, led by Hector Martin, nicknamed Markin, has done tremendous work in reverse engineering and documenting the hardware aspects of Apple Silicon. This process can be compared to solving an extremely complex puzzle, where each component requires careful study and understanding to create open drivers. Initially, the project focused on basic functionality, CPU operation, memory, and the most basic peripheral devices. Gradually, support for increasingly complex components was added, and today we have a system capable of not only running a graphical interface but also working with modern graphics APIs, which opens doors to the gaming world. One of the main achievements of the Asahi team was the development of an open driver for Apple's integrated GPU. This was an incredibly challenging task, given the unique architecture of Apple's graphics processor and the complete absence of documentation. Developers had to piece together their understanding of the GPU's operation by studying its behavior and responses to various commands. Currently, the driver supports basic Vulkan functionality through Mesa, which is key for running modern games. However, performance still significantly lags behind native. While games optimized for Metal and Mac OS can use the full power of the GPU, in Asahi Linux we observe a substantial performance decrease. This is due to both the immaturity of drivers and the need for translation between various graphics APIs. The situation with DirectX support is particularly interesting. The team is working on integrating VKD 3D Proton, which theoretically will allow running games using DirectX 12. However, this is a multi-layered solution. The game uses DirectX, which is translated to Vulkan, which in turn works through a relatively young driver. Each layer adds its own overhead, affecting performance. In the Asahi Linux subreddit, when I asked whether Steam Deck games would work, Markin replied, yes, but not every game will work as the stack is more complex than the Steam Deck so there are more things to go wrong. Only some DX12 games will run, since full DX12 support requires optional Vulkan features beyond 1.3, that we don't have yet. Currently, there might also be issues with games that support Vulkan. For example, Red Dead Redemption 2 doesn't launch, apparently due to some shortcomings in other translation layers, as the Vulkan driver is already fully implemented. To understand how complex everything is, I'll show you the layers through which translation occurs. DirectX is translated using DXVK and VKD 3D Proton to Vulkan. If the game supports Vulkan, this step is skipped. Wine is used to run Windows applications on Linux. FEX is used for x86 to ARM64 emulation. A micro virtual machine MUV is used to convert 4K pages to 16K. But things aren't as bad as they might seem. Development is progressing at an incredible pace. The core driver for the Vulkan API was implemented in just a month. Already, Steam Deck supports quite a few games. This means that after adding Vulkan features, all games that run on Steam Deck will correctly pass through the first two translation layers. Running games in a virtual machine under MUVM also looks like a ready solution, although optimization to improve performance continues. According to Alyssa Rosenzweig, developer of the Honeycrisp graphics driver, the performance of such a solution is about 90% of native. Therefore, for full game support, only one bottleneck remains, the FEX emulator, which is still under development. I also want to mention that FEX already supports emulation of all necessary CPU instructions for running games, AVX, AVX2, FMA3, F16C, BMI1, BMI2, and others. According to my calculations, 
If Apple takes no action within a year, Asahi Linux could become the leader in running AAA games on Apple Silicon. But what do we have at the moment? Are there games that work well right now? Speaking of real gaming experience, the situation varies greatly depending on the specific game. We can roughly divide them into several categories. Simple indie games using OpenGL or Basic Vulkan typically work quite well. Projects like Stardew Valley or Terraria demonstrate stable performance and are quite playable. Minecraft also shows good results, especially in its Java version. Games using DirectX 11 or earlier versions often work, but far from all of them. Additionally, there are issues with anti-cheat systems, making online play nearly impossible. The situation with more demanding games still leaves much to be desired. Most modern AAA projects either don't launch at all or run with serious graphical artifacts and unacceptably low performance. Out of all the games I personally wanted to play, the only one I managed to launch was Forza Horizon 4, but only in the menu. The game wouldn't let me enter gameplay and crashed instead. Here I've gathered all the tested games that work well enough. There's also a mini wiki containing a fairly large number of tested games. The link will be in the description. In my opinion, you're unlikely to find any DirectX 12 games that run and perform better than through Rosetta 2 on macOS. Furthermore, if you decide to install Asahi on your computer, you need to know about existing limitations. Currently, Asahi Linux can only be installed on MacBooks with M1 and M2 processors. At least 16 GB of RAM is required for games to run properly. You cannot install the OS on an external drive, and the following features and hardware blocks are not supported. USB 4 and Thunderbolt, video encoder, neural engine, microphones, Touch ID, and others. You can find the complete list in the description link. Installing Asahi Linux has become much simpler since the project's inception. To start installation, you only need to run the following command in macOS Terminal and follow the instructions. After installation, it's necessary to install all updates and install Steam with these commands. At present, it's difficult to recommend Asahi Linux as a primary gaming platform for Mac. The project is definitely impressive in its achievements and development pace, but is still at a stage more suitable for enthusiasts and experimenters rather than regular users. If you're considering installing Asahi Linux for gaming, you should honestly assess your expectations and needs. The system might be an interesting option for those who are interested in Linux and ready to deal with technical challenges, primarily play indie games and less demanding projects are willing to participate in testing and project development, have sufficient technical knowledge to solve potential problems. On the other hand, installation is not recommended if you expect stable performance in modern AAA games, are not ready to face technical issues, play online games requiring anti-cheat systems, use Mac as your primary work device and cannot risk its stability. But everything could change very quickly as the developers are determined and the main work has already been completed. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated on the most important events in the world of Mac gaming and see you in the next videos.